Hello guys, this is the one and only Anselm, and today I am bringing you the second episode of Fallout New Vegas Science Into Day. the Wasteland. And in this one, we are going to do all the quests related to Sunny Smiles. That'll get us free caps, a free gun, and free ammo. They're very good to do. They'll teach you some things even you may not know about the game, even if you have played it through multiple times. Now, the one thing that a lot of people mess up on, they yeah. see it as a tutorial, it which it is, and they just kind of skip ahead, they play it, they do the first um, option, and then they just skip ahead to the next one. Now, we're not going to do that. We're going to do every single one, because the more you do, the more caps you get, and the more caps you get, the more things you can buy. You also get more free 5.56 ammo, which is used in the varmint rifle, and later on guns, such as the marksman carbine and light machine gun. Both those guns are very good, but it is not until the later end of the game that you actually receive them, which makes the 5.56 ammo not good for normally about the mid-range midway through the game but we're going to be getting some marksman carbines and hopefully light machine guns so that won't even matter really but once you come up here this is from where from how many times i've done this i know where to go i have the entire route memorized but we're just going to come here and wait for sunny because she is so slow. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? She tells us that we have some geckos. Which are over there. You can okay. see them. You're on. Go get them help. So we're just gonna go ahead and shoot them at long range. Now we're gonna pull out our caravan shotgun. Take them out at close range. That's a very easy thing to do. You can easily just take out the geckos like I just did. And sometimes, I don't know why, but it seems that um, Bats has that little glitch. See? Now we need to go We're talk to Sunny it. again. We tell her that we will go along with her to these other two wells, which will net us some more caps and more XP and killing geckos and lastly more ammo so here we go we're going to ignore those geckos we'll leave sunny smiles to deal with them because she's a big girl because what we want to focus on are these geckos over here now they're fighting this good spring settler which means that we save her like that and in turn, we get some free stuff from her. And we also become accepted in Good Springs. She tells us, thank you so much, you're a wonderful person. And here's some water, I was getting it, but... You know, you saved my life, I think you deserve my water. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. And that seemed very easy to me, but... I don't know. I'm also going to change the kill cam to the player view because I like it a little more than the cinematic. But Sunny seems to have survived for sure. We're going to check now and see if her doggy also survived. Yes, Cheyenne did survive. Seems as though she survived barely though, somehow. But we're just going to go ahead on here. We are going to hopefully find Sunny. There she is, right down there. Now that was some good work. What? She Don't gives us 50 caps. And we're going to tell her home. that we saved someone. Well, we actually can't tell her that. But we tell her we want to help her do this last little part. Or more, have her help us. Now, what we're going to do is go into this good string... Ugh, 
Good Springs General Store real quick to buy a you shovel. Must be the one Doc Mitchell. Show me what you got for sale. Now, we're going to buy the shovel. We're also going to sell off a lot of the things. We do not need this. We do not need a laser pistol. We do not need any throwing spears or binoculars. We're going to sell this armor because it is worth a good amount and there is no reason to keep it. Now here's the thing where we will actually make a good amount of money. These are all the books that we took from Doc Mitchell's house. And they're actually worth some good money. They end up adding up to uh, that, that's about 50 caps. Another which, satisfied customer. And if you actually um, wisely spend your caps, 50 caps will go a surprisingly long way. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the schoolhouse where we will find some Xander root. And after going there, we're going to go up to the Good Springs Cemetery. And at the Good Springs Cemetery, you're going to find, I can't even think now. Oh yes, I did not want to put that there. I wanted to put that there. There we go. But at the Good Springs Cemetery, we're going to find some rock flower. Now, outside this little schoolhouse, there's going to be these two, um, praying manti, and they're weak, they're just annoying, and they, they can't even really hurt us, to be honest. They're more annoying than anything. <laughs> See, that's, that's, I like the player view more. Much more fun to me. So now we have... Three Xander root. We're going to go ahead and fast travel back to Good Springs because it is slightly faster with our loading times. And now we're going to head up to Mount Good Springs, as I like to call it. It's just a small little hill outside Good Springs where the cemetery is and also the water tower. But on the way there, we're going. Yes, we ran into this bark scorpion. Which is actually very easy compared to a lot of other scorpions, such as the rad scorpions, which have more armor and do more damage. They're also much bigger, but that's not really even that important. Here we have some bloat flies. We're just going to go ahead and open all these graves and ignore our bloat fly friends for now. Because they are no, they're no danger to us. With our armor, we can just avoid them all together. We're getting steady. Some nine millimeter rounds, and also this grave over here has some stuff on it, such as that jet. And now we're just going to go ahead and get this rock flower. And now that we have got everything here, we're going to go ahead and go back down here. They will just stop shooting at us for a second. I don't feel like wasting ammo on them. There we go. Seems as though they are hanging back. And I don't know why we're still in combat. We're going to go ahead and try to fast travel. Yes, we can. There we go. So once we take these to Sunny, that will be all we need to do for her. That will be all she asks of us, and we will be on our merry way. Let me see what you got. There we go. Go ahead over to this campfire. She tells you to make this healing powder. That's not bad, see? That's basically all she Powder's tells us. Now, one thing we want to do, we want to ask her if there's any work available. <laughs> And she tells us, yes, there is. Go ahead and check it out. There's a schoolhouse. Has a nice little safe. You could try to get into that. So that's exactly what we're going to try to do. 
we are going to try to get there into that safe. So let's go ahead and fast travel back to Good Springs, get in that safe, and then that's all we're going to need to do really for this episode. Just doing these little things around Good Springs will help you do much better in the start. Kind of gives you a head start on things. So we're going to go ahead and if we can, possibly hurry up getting to the schoolhouse. I'm just checking these mailboxes and even though I'd already checked them before, I just realized that, I know, as I was running up to them, I realized that I had already checked them. But always check mailboxes and mail drop boxes because they oftentimes lend surprisingly good loot. So we're just going to go ahead and go to town with our Jason weapon. Find the cherry bomb bag here. Doesn't appear to be much else. Some bobby pins and another cherry bomb actually. And some wonder glue. We will need that wonder glue. But we can unlock neither the terminal nor the save. We're going to go ahead and check our stats. Make sure our lock pick, yes, it is 17. Which means that with the help of this locksmith's reader that she gave us, we will be open, able to lock pick this safe. And I can't seem to get it. There we go. Well, now my mouse is working with it, finally. Not as precise, but once we get in it, as you can see, there's some pretty good stuff there. If we try to get this, uh, it's broken now that the safe is open. But you can actually hack into that to get more points. And now that we've done everything for Sunny Smile, I mean, yes, for Sunny Smiles, we're going to end this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video up until this point. And this has been the one and only Ansel. I'm out.